I've been growing my Instagram over the past year or so, starting at about 500 followers to now over 50,000 followers. And one of the most common questions I get asked is about my expert settings for Instagram with DaVinci Resolve. I've done a lot of experimenting with this, and these are the settings that I found work for me. So to start off, you want to make sure that the settings are correct for your device first, whether you're shooting on a camera, a phone, or any other kind of video recorder. I like to shoot at the highest quality possible, which is 4K from my camera. And if you're using a phone, just go to the camera app in your settings and change record video to 4K at 30fps. I know I'm showing an iPhone here, but if you have any phone within probably like the last 5 years, you should be able to change these settings as well. Something important to know is that a lot of people will shoot in 24 frames per second because it's more cinematic, but Instagram doesn't actually support 24 frames per second, only a 30. So if you upload a reel in 24p, this will cause some slight stutters on Instagram, which is why I like to record at 30 instead. After you get all your clips, let's head into DaVinci. So you want to start off by making your timeline first. And regardless of what your project settings were, you want to check these just because you might not be able to change some of these settings later. So if you go to use project settings, we can just uncheck this, and then you'll see that format appears. And if you go to format, you should be able to change your timeline resolution to 1080 by 1920, and your timeline frame rate at 29.97 frames per second, which is basically like 30. And just like how Instagram doesn't support 24 frames per second, only 30, Instagram doesn't actually support 4K video, which is why I'm making this timeline 1080p. If you upload a 4K video, Instagram will just end up compressing it and making it look terrible, which is obviously what we're trying to avoid. So after that, click create, and then just edit your timeline as is. I usually like to order all my clips together, add a color grade, add in any transitions, music, and sound effects, and then finally add subtitles. A little trick is that if your reels usually have a certain clip that uses the same color grade, for me this is like my talking headshot, so I usually have a pretty similar setup every time. So before I cut all my clips, I like to put in my talking headshot into a group. So if you head over to the color grade tab, select all my talking headshots, right click and then you'll see that it says add into new group. And I can just name it something like talking head and then at the top you'll see a few more buttons appear. If you click on one of these, this one says group post clip and this is where you're going to do your main color grading. And any change I make in this section will affect all other clips in that same group so that you have a consistent color grade. And this is really great because these clips will stay in this group even if you end up cutting these clips into a bunch of smaller clips so that your color grading will always stay consistent. After you finish editing your reel, before export, I had one final thing. Instagram is pretty bad with compressing your footage, so I usually like to give my reel a tiny bit of sharpening right before export. In the color grade tab, you're going to see at the top that there's a section called timeline, and anything in this section will affect every single clip in your timeline. I add a new node, head to the blur tab, and you'll find a triangle that says sharpen. Then I drag my radius, and you can drag any of these sliders here down to 0.47. I don't want to overdo the sharpening, but I just want to add a tiny bit to kind of counteract Instagram's compression. And finally, onto the expert settings. I start off by clicking on the default H.264 master preset to kind of give me a starting base. You want to make sure that your format is quick time and your codec is H.264. Your resolution should be 1080 by 1920, just like our timeline, and your frame rate should be 29.97. For quality, instead of doing automatic, I click restrict to 16,000 kilobits per second. I found that if your bitrate is too high, Instagram also ends up compressing it, and 16,000 from my testing seems to be like the sweet spot between having a low enough bitrate that Instagram doesn't want to compress it too much, while still having a high enough bitrate that you'll still get a really high quality reel from it. And then finally, in advanced settings, I want to change my color space tag to Rec 709, and then my gamma tag to sRGB. And I like to do sRGB because this is like the standard color space for most devices. And these are all my Instagram expert settings. I know it's a lot to remember, so I like to make a preset for this. At the top, you'll find these three dots, and if you click this, you can click save as new preset, and then you can just name it something like Instagram and save it so that every time you export, just click on this preset at the top left and all your settings will be loaded in for you. Hopefully this video was helpful and helps you get a bit more quality for your reels. Let me know in the comment section if this worked for you and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.